Pakistan's Election Commission, in a unanimous decision, has found former Prime Minister Imran Khan guilty of corrupt practices and disqualified him from being a member of parliament. Khan's Pakistan Tariq e Insaf PTI party immediately rejected Friday's ruling, challenging the commission's jurisdiction of delivering such a verdict. It said it would file an appeal to the Islamabad High Court and called on supporters to take to the streets. The case against Khan was filed in August by a member of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz PMLN contending that the former prime minister had bought gifts given by foreign dignitaries from the state gift depository, also called Tashikana, but did not disclose the assets in the declarations submitted to the commission. Speaking to reporters after the verdict, PTI leader Fawad Chaudhry called the commission's decision, embarrassing, and a slap in the face of Pakistan's people. This verdict is not an attack on Imran Khan only. It is an attack on Pakistan's constitution and its people, he said. Khan, who was removed from his office in April through a parliamentary vote of no confidence, has accused the commission of bias and has singled out its chief, Sikandar Sultan Raja, of prejudice against him and his party. The Tashikana controversy erupted last year when it was disclosed that Khan and his wife Bushra Bibi bought gifts from the Tashikana and later sold them in the market at discounted rates. The PTI, which was the governing party at the time, had initially expressed reluctance to reveal the details of the gifts given to Khan, claiming it could potentially jeopardize Pakistan's foreign relations. The gift depository is a government department created in the 1970s, which stores gifts given to rulers, lawmakers, government officials and functionaries by heads of states and other foreign dignitaries. Tashikana rules state that all gifts must be submitted to the department. However, they can later be bought. While selling the gifts is not strictly illegal, many consider it unethical and morally wrong. The case filed against Khan said the former prime minister had received a total of 58 boxes containing various items during his time in office. PMLN petitioner Mohsen Nawaz Ranja said the former prime minister was legally required to declare all assets belonging to him, his wife and dependents to the commission at the end of every financial year. The reference argued that failing to do so rendered Khan dishonest, and thus disqualified him from participating in parliamentary politics for life under the Pakistani constitution. Khan was also accused of, deliberately, hiding the gifts that he bought from Tashikana, but later confessed to having sold these gifts, without disclosing the details to the commission. In a landmark ruling five years ago, the Supreme Court declared then Prime Minister and PLMN Chief Nawaz Sharif, dishonest, resulting in his removal from the office as well as being barred from parliamentary politics for life.